How's everybody doing? Welcome back to my channel. This week, my client flew in for the next three days to get his inner sleeve and his chest covered up. So with that being said, let's get this day started. Let's go. How you guys been? Been good, man. Enjoying life, I see. A little bit, a little bit. Not, not as much as you. Nah, yo, you guys are you guys are be traveling. Hey, you look good, bro. Thank you. You Appreciate mean it. you mean uh, losing weight? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I that, see that, it. Last time, mm -hmm. last time you said uh, I reminded you of a wrestler. Mm -hmm. I was like, all right. You look like a wrestler, bro. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll take that. And I was like, wait a minute. What kind of wrestler are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> WWF wrestler or sumo wrestler? Because <laughs> <laughs> I, like, I was like, hold on. I'm, I'm a Mexican lose, wrestler. I'm going to have to lose That's some what weight. <laughs> what I'm thinking is maybe uh, using just one image and extending it up. Because I feel like um, you have wide arms. So if I can just maybe extend it with one single project going from here to here and I'll do background going up. Not, mm -hmm. not necessarily black, but yeah. something that flows with it. Cause you have open skin right here. So I want to use that. Yeah. This one just catches your yeah, eye, that, huh? that one, yeah. It's the, it's the look, the, uh, mm -hmm. the image. All right, well, other yeah. than that, you guys are set. You guys can right, enjoy cool. your day. We, you guys have all day to enjoy. <laughs> it's hard to tell how long it's gonna take me. Yeah. You already know, but I'm gonna try to finish at a good time so you guys can enjoy your time here. Tomorrow, we'll find you. let's do uh, 8 a.m. 8 a.m.? Yes. Ready? It's time. Follow me, it's sir. It's time. Uh, it's time. Right. Damn! I just noticed your shoes. Oh. <laughs> You're looking nice today. <laughs> Did you shave? Yeah. Oh, nice. Took care of that for you. Nice. <laughs> so we're gonna be doing the inner sleeve in the next two days, covering up the Superman logo. It's gonna be an easy one, just because I'm gonna be using the headdress of the concept to cover up the logo of the Superman. And yeah, I mean, it's, it's gonna be a fun, it's gonna be a fun concept. Not stressful, for sure. I could do better. Nice. What a stencil. Yeah. Yes, sir. Look yeah, at that. That goes crazy. Oh. Oh, yeah. I haven't even started. You can't even see the... the you already covered it up. Yeah, I already covered it up without me trying. Oh, that's going to be fire. This is not even considered a cover-up. <laughs> <laughs> so we finally put on the stencil here. The, the placement is super dope. I like the way it is. It didn't distort anything. It's placed on the perfect area to whenever he moves his arm around, you're going to be able to see. There's times where when somebody plays a stencil on this area, they focus too much on going too far onto the inner that for you to show off your tattoo, you have to twist your whole entire forearm and we don't want that. I'm, I'm really happy with the placement. On the face, that's where I'm really going to be showing the way I'm going to be doing it, the voltage, my needle selection and all those little details and close-ups of how I'm moving my hand and things like that. But as far as this, this bottom area, not so much explanation. So let's get it. Here all I'm doing is with solid black, just gonna shade it super lightly. That way it creates some sort of 
dimension to to the shape of the necklace here and uh, and continue with solid black throughout the whole necklace because I wanted to make it look a certain a certain way once I get to the neck and the face that's gonna have a different look to separate it So I'm gonna start doing the lips now. The whole neck area, what I did is I grabbed my cur 13 curve mag and I used nothing but solid black to be able to achieve a different kind of texture. And I'm gonna continue that texture on the on the face. And then once I get to the armor part on the, on the chin area and the nose area, I'm gonna switch to my true grace because I wanna separate it. But with my solid black, this is how I'm achieving soft look. And I'm using it uh, <clears throat> with a voltage of a 5.0 and barely brushing the skin. Barely brushing it. Once it heals, this tone is gonna stay the way it looks uh, fresh. And that is why I'm using it that way. <clears throat> I, I got to see the way this technique heals after four years and I love it. I love the way it heals, it's, uh, the longevity of it. It looks amazing. And I take my time, you know, because if you if you rush this technique, you're gonna be able to see the scratches on the skin. So just take your time, build it. The nose is probably one of my favorite parts uh, about doing portraits or any any kind of face, uh, because when it comes down to doing the nose, that's what really gives the face personality. And the way I'm going to be doing the nose is using my uh, 13 curve mag and still using nothing but solid black but I want to create really high contrast on this area as much contrast this this whole thing is going to be almost solid black so that's gonna create like an illusion that the Sun is hitting from this corner and it's, it's just gonna look so dope you just gotta be really gentle with this area make it dark but not go too dark because you can definitely lose the nose super easy uh, but the more contrast you have the better Day one of tattooing, I was able to complete the forearm part of this inner sleeve and I was really happy with the outcome and today I'm going to be finishing up the inner sleeve and wrap it all the way around to finally complete the full sleeve for my clients. The headdress right here, because this is an extra thing, we don't need that. I'd rather use it for the ego instead and create those feathers. It's your turn on, oh there you go. That's just wild, that shit looks sick as hell. Uh, this is our second day on this uh, inner sleeve uh, project. And today what we're gonna be doing is pretty much the inner bicep. Yesterday we finished the whole entire forearm, which is, I love the way it turned out. Now I'm gonna have to match 
the techniques that I did on the face, the armor on the face, onto the headdress. And then we added in uh, the Mexican Eagle on the top. We're gonna start with that and it's gonna be an easy day. Now what I gotta do is the eagle area and my approach is gonna be with the 13, 13, 13 curve mag and I'm gonna be running it at 5.0 as well. So this is the last part of the inner project so I'm excited to get it done and it's gonna be an easy area but also tough for the client so it's gonna be very important for me to navigate. About to start close to the armpit super sensitive area take your time don't uh, be too brutal with it I know it's painful for my client but he is tough right yes, sir. tell him tell him yes, that you're tough <laughs> no you know what anybody that has gotten tattooed on the armpit armpit know this feeling of like feeling helpless <laughs> feeling like you can't do anything about it, but just feel the pain. If you get through the armpit, you can get through anything. <laughs> I'm about to finish the piece. I'm just doing the tricep here, which is uh, a little bit of time consuming. I, I left this at the end just so I can kind of finish it up and send him home so he can go rest or go enjoy the rest of the night. I like, I like the way everything's turning out and I can't wait to do the chest. The inner sleeve is completed. Now on this day, it is the final day with my client and I'm gonna be tattooing a whole different part of his body, which is the left pec. I'm excited for it because he's been having this tattoo for a while and he's been wanting that cover up for so many years. So I'm excited to get this done for him. And it's the final day, so I'm gonna have a lot of fun today. Right. Your last day, how do you feel? My last day? Uh, <laughs> I miss this place. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna make it happen. That'll work. That looks tight, bro. That shit looks sick. All right, let's go. No fucking around today. No fucking around. That's the, that's the uh, quote of the day. Quote of the day. We're not fucking around today. <laughs> We're in <doing> business. <laughs> we got a whole bunch of lettering going on. So the first thing I'm going to be attacking is under the chin and applying my grays and my solid black. That will let me know how bright I can make this piece look. And it's going to give me an idea on how to approach the face. So now that I'm applying the black, I can already see that the lettering underneath is not as strong as I thought. So far, this, this is a good start because the, the lettering are not showing right through the black. I'm applying my gray tones now. Skin is, is just taking it in super easy and so far it's covering up easy. So it's still a pretty good sign. Once I start doing the beer, I'm going to apply first my solid black with all the little textures and go back with my grays and I think I, as in right now I'm very confident that it's not gonna give me any problems but if it does all I gotta do is just change my my contrast and my highlights and adjust a little bit of my details um, and that's pretty much it this area is super important to be super sharp because I need that neck to stand out from afar now starting the beer first thing I'm gonna be doing is applying my contrast here with all the little details using my 14 mile liner to give me that hair on the beard kind of look and I'm going to be using what he already has to my advantage like for example this little swirl right here can be a little curl on the beard continue that follow it also use this as well in the opposite direction I like this right here 
and I start giving it shape, you know. You don't have to completely follow your reference. For me, I, I don't usually follow my reference 100%. I probably use like 30% of it, and then I go and I do my own thing throughout the whole tattoo because I feel like I can, whatever the picture shows me, it won't translate the same on skin, so I have to make sure that whatever I tattoo, it translates uh, to make it look good on skin, not just as a picture. I just finished applying my solid black onto the beard. With just using black, I was able to almost cover up the whole entire thing. So all I gotta do right now is gonna be applying my medium gray and my light gray with a little bit of white highlights to make the beard pop. And that's all that it needs because I'm very surprised on how easy it was to cover up that lettering. And I'm just glad that the lettering didn't give me any problems, any struggle. It was easy. On the lip area, there's already some lines going across, but it's actually they're actually going uh, vertical, so that's gonna help me out a lot to give it the illusion that it's the wrinkles of the bottom lip. So I'm gonna use it to my advantage so that I'm glad that the lip landed where it did. It's just those little things when that you place the stencil, you don't really plan ahead. It's just something that happens. This area where the stencil landed because it landed right where the cheekbone is supposed to show the the features of it. So I'm I'm really happy the way that landed as well. Like that's just when you know you place the stencil on the right spots without even trying. So uh, this is gonna help me out to create this as a highlight, and the eye is gonna be able to identify where the cheek the cheekbone starts. <laughs> yeah. Yo! Oh wow, it's pretty much almost gone. <laughs> That's looking crazy. That shit, it's like, it disappeared. Right there. The, 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 all the lettering that I put right there, that, that he has right there. Boom! And you can kind of see the lettering coming out right here. but. It was crazy. I was, I was uh, when I started doing it. I'm like, man, it kind of looks complicated, so, but I just went through it like nothing. Man, what, what just happened? <laughs> it was like I just went through this like nothing. So, uh, that made me really happy. Everything else is cake. <laughs> I to achieve the texture of the crown here, I want to make it look like it's made out of branches, like wood. So I'm gonna be like doing the scribble technique, but. The difference is that I'm going to be doing kind of like lines going across, random, so that way it starts creating that effect. I am doing the background of uh, I'm doing the background close to the neck one tip that I can give everyone is that on this area move very slowly I've seen um, artists make the mistake of uh, they're just moving too fast and thinking too fast and doing too much at one time that sometimes they don't notice the neck is too close to the to the area so they end up accidentally poking the neck area I mean obviously if you do that then the client's not going to be happy. You might get sued. <laughs> and very slowly just start, take your time on this area. It's definitely a very tricky area. You don't want to accidentally poke the client on the neck. Just be patient. No rush. Right there. Almost done with that cover, bro. We're fucking winning hard. 
Uh, thank you. Where, thank where you. Where was the cover of it? Right here, look at it. I think I have a picture of it right here. This is fucking beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. Mm -hmm. Gone. The lettering is right here on the beard. It makes me um, it makes me feel pretty good. And before, you know, I never uh, my tattoos. They, uh, unfortunately, they weren't as great as I would have wanted them to be, and didn't want to show them off too too much. You really want to be proud of your the work that you have done on your body, and and I, I couldn't really say I was really proud of the ink that I had before, but now uh, I have no doubt in my mind that um, that I'm proud to show them off. As a matter of fact, for the first time. I have people always coming up asking me about my tattoos and just complimenting me on the on the work that I got done. So I'll be I'll be coming I'll be coming back for years to come.